Yo squad, what is up? Pino E here, and today we're going to take a look at some of the worst fakes your eyes have ever seen. I'm sorry, I don't remember who sent me this website, but we struck gold. The amount of fuckery on this site has reached unparalleled levels of bitch assness. They are the king of crap in the fuckboys of shoes, so without further ado, let's look at their doo-doo. So first things first, here's the site, lightinthebox.com. If you have a wedding coming up, you need some beauty products that will fuck with your skin, you need some bathroom sinks or faucets, maybe a costume for cosplay or sneakers, then make sure you check them out. But for today, we're going to focus on the kicks. The great thing about this shitty site is they make shoes for everyone in every style, like these Pharrell Adidas NMD Human Race. Now to keep it real with you all, which this site knows nothing about, these aren't the worst looking Pharrell shoes out there, I've seen worse, and you could get these in black, blue, yellow, and white. The EVA inserts are pretty bad, they're actually inserted into whatever that fake blue shit is made out of, but my favorite thing about this pair is the comment. Someone bought a pair and instead of Human Race, they got a pair with an O instead of a C. But fuck these pieces of shit, let's move on. Now don't confuse this garbage with the Yeezy 350 version 2 because we still got those coming up. These are the Yeezy 305 version 1. You could get these in Turtle Dove, Black White or Beluga. Regular price for these is only $54.91 but for the next 25 days, yes, this sale is running for another 25 days, you could get them for $30.89. You're still paying about $30.89 too much for this pair. But don't worry, we got the V2 coming up now. Okay, so it's not a prime knit upper, it looks like a cheap yarn, and the supply is replaced with LSBY, but these are the 350, cause look on the shoe, it says 350. The website also gives you tips, and according to them, there's an adjustable ankle strap that ensures the perfect fit. Where the fuck is the ankle strap? Fuck you, light in the box. We also know Adidas tells us Boost is limited, and Black Boost is even more limited because they need to paint it. But these fuckers have no problem putting Black Boost on their pairs. They got lots and lots of it. They just take some styrofoam, they glue it together, get some spray paint, and voila, the most awesome display of fuckery ever seen on a fake Yeezy. I don't know about you all, but I haven't seen many knockoffs of the Kobe 12 Elite High, but these guys nailed it. You have your choice of the Christmas pair, Oreo, and I don't remember what those multicolor was for, but I don't care because that's not the point. The point is, these are so dope, they come constructed and fly knit. Oh wait, that's not fly knit, that's plastic. Okay, so they made these pairs from plastic shopping bags and a little bit of Crayola paint. But I mean, who cares? That's just aesthetics. I'm pretty sure if you put these on, you'll be throwing down 61 points like Kobe. Well, maybe not like Kobe, and I'm pretty sure there's no ankle support, so you'll probably snap both of yours. But hey, for $33.26, you're definitely getting your money's worth on these. How about some Soldier 10s? These guys took a dope model from Nike and they made it even better. How did they make it better, you ask me? Well, they added a flaming basketball embossed into the leather, and I'm pretty sure that leather is made from cat skin. And here's a note to all designers out there. If you want to make a shoe dope, add a random number to the heel. These guys chose 24. Good choice, guys. Good choice. What I don't understand from some of these idiots who run websites like this is why they choose to rip off a model and use the name Air Max on it, but then they try to be sneaky and use a Batman logo instead of the swoosh. It's almost as if they think by making that change nobody's really gonna notice. But anyway, it is Air Max month and here's some dope Air Max 90s for the ladies. You have your choice from multiple shitty pink colors and there's a lot of shitty blue colors to choose from as well. There's no way I can show you all their crappy shoes, they got the 90s in metallic gold and silver, they have some with country flags on the tongue, but every single one of them will give you blisters and they will not charge you extra for that feature, so enjoy. This channel has a range of ages following me. Some of you are younger, some are older, but this advice applies to all of you. Whatever you're gonna do in life, do it right and do it as best as you can. If you're gonna be a lawyer, be the best one out there. If you wanna be a drug dealer, I would recommend against it, but be the best. And if you're gonna create and sell fake shoes, then learn to fucking spell and make the best damn copies you can, unlike shithead over here. While we wait for the Supreme More Up Tempo to drop, here's a look at the light in the box more crap tempo. 
even Under Armour is getting knocked off. But these are actually better than the Steph Curry's that Under Armour is putting out. So I'm going to give them a pass on these. Nah, fuck them for making these two. Where I do give this site credit, though, is how dedicated they are to giving their customers options. I'm only showing about five colorways here, but you can find them in over ten different models. So yeah, let's keep this shit train moving. I want to move over to whatever this shoe is supposed to be. Maybe a Skechers knockoff. I don't know. But that's not why I'm sharing this one. This is labeled as a women's dancing shoe. So I have a couple questions. First, what kind of foot will fit into these? If I ever see a lady wearing these, I'm staying away because you know for sure her feet are all kinds of fucked up. Also, how does anyone even stand in these, yet alone dance? They look like whoever's wearing them would just kind of fall over if you push them. And why does it have air in the heel? Now, I'm not sure if you noticed as the picture scrolled by, but the S comes in multiple colorways to match with any stripper outfit you're rocking for the night on stage. Good luck, ladies. Good luck on that poll. Get that money. Let's circle back to Yeezy when he was at Nike and what we have here according to the labeling is a fall winter round toe flat heel lace up basketball shoe. Now if I put these on and roundhouse kick you in the head, the chances of that spike going into your face might actually be very high. So they look dangerous and I don't want any of you to get hurt. I also don't want any of you to look stupid so stay away from these. I know it's hard to do especially with a $36.84 price tag but for that price you only get part Part of the Nike swoosh. If you're interested, maybe send them an email, talk to Captain Shitface that runs the site, and ask them that if you throw in another $10, will they give you the full swoosh? When I first saw these, I really thought they were a pair of Adidas, but they can't be because there's no three stripes on the shoes. I guess they tricked me with these. They do look familiar though. That all white boost mid with matching EVA inserts is something I've seen before, but I just can't place where. When I told you at the beginning of the video I hit a gold mine with this site, I wasn't kidding. They literally tried to knock off every damn shoe ever made. It's so awesome. I have no idea what kind of material is being used on these. It looks like some sort of shitty mesh that will probably cut into your foot, making you curse the day that you found the website. I'm just wondering how much they paid their models to wear these pieces of shit on their feet. The Air Jordan 7, it's the shoe that MJ wore when he won his second NBA title. It's one of the more popular shoes in the brand's collection. And then there's these. Going with some classic colorways like black and red, black and white, they also grab some inspiration from one of the worst 7s to ever release, the sweater. Other details include removing the Jumpman from the ankle collar and replacing it with the word Air, but I can promise you there's no air in the soles of these, there's just garbage. Here's how flagrant they are. This shoe is a knockoff of a knockoff of a custom. That's right, someone made a Roshi Yeezy as a custom and that was knocked off and mass produced. Then this shitty site knocked off the knockoff and made these even shittier looking pairs. I believe this is a first in bootleg history where fakes are being knocked off by a shittier fake. So let's give Captain Shithead a round of applause, shall we? This next one baffles me. Nobody bought the real cruise trainers and these guys are trying to sell fakes. This one just doesn't make good business sense and I'm really disappointed in Captain Shithead. I need to talk to him. So now these 12s were really interesting to me and let me explain why I was intrigued. It's obvious these are trying to be a 12 low. It's obviously they're a bad fake, but that's not why I chose to use these. Now I could be wrong and if there's anyone out there who knows the answer, please let me know in the comments. But these have Chinese writing on the tongue, but I don't think it's Chinese. It's definitely Asian, maybe, but it grabs its inspiration from the Chinese New Year 12s. They threw some writing on the tongue and what I'm not sure about if it's really a real language or if they're just making that shit up. I'm I'm gonna say they created their own language until someone lets me know what it is. These fuckboys wouldn't be the first one to knock off a Nike Hirachi, but they will be the first that I've ever seen to make the sole rounded. If you've ever seen a Skechers shape up and the rounded sole on the bottom, that's what they did here. It's the Hirachi shape up. Yo, if you missed out on the Master 12s, these are a dope alternative for you. Looks like they have a General Electric logo on the tongue, I don't know, but fuck it, you can just pull your jeans over the tongue and no one's gonna notice. And since everyone keeps asking me about Cherry 12s, here they are, $39, go nuts. Sixes were my first Jordan, so seeing these just makes me want to throat chop that shithead. They got the black infrared, and just like Nike, they can't get the color right. They got white infrared with the black toe, and they got Oreo sixes. Now, what's super funny about these is when I saw them on the website, I also saw some bullshit link to report copyright infringement. Of course, the message goes directly to the owner of the site, who doesn't give a shit since he knows he's selling fakes. So once again, fuck you, Captain Shithead. And what kind of site would it be if this scumbag didn't sell fake 11s? If 
if you want any credibility in the circle jerk underworld of fake sneakers, you need to sell fake 11s. Now when this guy goes to the annual fuckery award ceremony, they all laugh at him because his fakes aren't even close to looking good. So that's right, he's on the bottom of the scumbag food chain. Fake Concords, fake 7210s, and for good measure, he made up his own colorway. I almost want to buy a pair to see what it says on the tongue, but I'm good. And that brings us to the end of today's video. We just looked at over 100 pairs of fake sneakers from Captain Shithead and the shitty site. If you enjoyed this video, and I hope you did, hit that like button. If you're new around here, subscribe, join the squad. If you have something to say, leave it in the comments below, and I'm out.